let's now see the eigen values of powers of a which means the eigen value of a uh, power k eigen, eigen value of a power k plus a something like this so basically if there is any equation so how to find the eigen values of that equation i mean that matrix which is forming the equation so let's just see uh, with the question so suppose they are saying that eigen value of a is lambda then what will the eigen value of a power k that's what they are asking so what is given is that that a eigen value is lambda let's suppose the eigen vector is x so basically it is given to us right assuming that x is an eigen vector because the lambda is eigen value which is given to us now they are asking that what will the eigen values of a okay so for that what we can do we basically need something like this see a power k into some vector equal to that same vector into something right i mean uh, let's suppose the vector is x prime or something then i want something like this so basically i want to uh, know the eigen value of a power k let's just do one thing maybe what we can do we can uh, we can multiply a both side here and then you will be having a square x equal to lambda ax and ax is lambda x so that's why this is lambda square x now from this equation what take, what what you can say a square x equal to lambda square x this is one equation that you got right just see that x can be treated as eigen vector and lambda square is eigen value so from this equation you can say that lambda square is eigen value and eigen vector is same which is x now let's just do one thing let's just multiply by a one more time so you will be having a cube x equal to lambda square a x and then this ax is lambda x so it is lambda cube x isn't it so finally you are having a cube x equal to lambda cube x finally you are having this see if it is a square x you are having lambda square x it means that x is eigen vector and lambda square is eigen value similarly here x is eigen vector and lambda cube is eigen value now if someone ask you what is the eigen value of this then you will be say, saying that lambda power k is eigen value and x is eigen vector right i hope you understood okay now let's go to the next question now what they are saying is that if a is eigen value or if lambda is eigen value then what is the eigen value of this particular matrix which is actually in the equation format right so let's just see so it is given that ax equal to lambda x now you need to do something and basically you need to find out a power k plus 3 a power k minus 1 plus identity matrix into into some vector equal to the same vector into some lambda right i mean that's what you're looking for so let's do one thing like uh, you since you don't know what will the eigen value and eigen vector let, let me just try with the one thing which is basically let me multiply this particular thing with x remember x is a eigen vector of a not of this matrix like i i actually don't know whether the x is eigen vector of this matrix or not but i know that x is eigen vector of a but let's just see what we are getting here see do you remember uh, from the our previous discussion that a power k into x where x is eigen vector of a is actually lambda power k into x right just now we did it a power 3 into x lambda power q into x so that's why it will be a power k into x plus 3 into a power k minus 1 into x plus x so you can say that this is same as lambda power k into x plus 3 into lambda power k minus 1 into x because a power k into x is a lambda power k x a power k minus 1 into x lambda power k minus 1 x right plus x now from here you can take that x common and it will be lambda power k plus 3 lambda power k minus 1 plus if you take x common it will be just identity matrix and then this will be the common after the common you will be having this now just notice one thing this is one matrix into some vector you are getting the same vector into some constant right i mean okay sorry uh, here uh, not the identity matrix you will be getting one you will be getting one because these are the scalars right so basically b into x is equal to some lambda into x isn't it so if if someone ask you what is the eigen value of this particular matrix then you will say this is the eigen value and what is the eigen vector eigen vector remains same let's not worry about the eigen vector but the eigen value is basically this one right so you will say that eigen value of this is 
लेमडा पावर के प्लस थ्री लेमडा पावर प्लस थ्री लेमडा पावर के माइनस वन प्लस वन राइट सो आई कैन वेल लूव दिस इज दिस आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड सी फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल एंड दिस एग्जाम्पल मे बी यू कैन ड्रॉ वन पैटर्न इज बेसिकली दिस दैट इफ यू हैव वन इक्वेशन हेयर देन a uh, unit to just plug in the eigen value of a which is lambda and you get the eigen value of this whole thing see earlier you you have a power k right and someone ask you a power k eigen value just plug in the eigen value of a which is lambda right then lambda power k is eigen value of a power k i mean this is just one observation but anyway let's just solve more questions so they are saying eigen value of a is lambda then what is the eigen value of a inverse okay so ax equal to lambda x is given to us now you need something you need a inverse into some vector and you get the same vector some constant i mean into the same vector something like this right so a inverse into something you need maybe what you can do you can multiply with the a inverse both side right because you need a inverse so just multiply by the a inverse both side you will be having x equal to lambda is constant you are doing pre multiplication so it is lambda is constant you can i mean is is scalar basically you can take the lambda anywhere so it is a inverse x now what 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 is your objective you need a inverse into some vector should be the some constant should be some constant into same vector right so here can you just see a inverse into some vector yes a inverse into some vector so you can rewrite it as a inverse x equal to this is 1 upon lambda right you can take this lambda here so 1 upon lambda into x now from this equation can't you say that x is eigen vector and the corresponding eigen value is 1 upon lambda isn't it so from here you can say that eigen value is 1 upon lambda right so that's how you can solve these two three questions but we can actually generalize it so this is uh, what i have taken from wikipedia we can actually generalize it which is saying that for the polynomial p okay in the in the matrix a polynomial p in the matrix a means you take any polynomial whatever you want a power k minus 1 plus uh, i mean whatever actually a inverse something okay and someone ask you that okay the uh, the eigen value of a is lambda then what is the eigen value of this particular matrix then you say just plug in the value of lambda lambda power k plus lambda power k minus 1 i mean instead of a just plug in the lambda plus 1 upon lambda this is the eigen value of this particular matrix this is what this statement is saying more generally a polynomial p the uh, for the polynomial for a polynomial p the eigen values of the matrix pa right which means this is pa basically okay i mean they have written in some uh, uh, some complicated words but i hope you understood that you take any equation you plug in the eigen value lambda there and then you get the eigen values of that particular equation or that particular matrix right okay so suppose if i just ask you what is the eigen value of of 5 a power 3 plus a square minus a inverse okay what are the, what is the eigen value of this given that given that a is a is eigen value is 2 is lambda let's suppose <coughs> then how you will solve it you just plug in the value of lambda right you just plug in the value lambda lambda power q plus lambda square minus 1 upon lambda and this is the answer so very easily you can do that kind of question okay so i just wanted to uh, bring you in, in notice that okay you can solve this kind of questions very easily now just see here that for a power k the answers are this if lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda power n are the eigen values of a then a power k has these eigen values right if a is invertible then the eigen values of a inverse are this so this how easily you can do these kind of questions i hope that is fine okay now this is one question that i have taken from uh, illinois university if you want you can just try out this question so what they are saying is that they are saying that suppose x is eigen vector of a which means they are they are saying okay i mean it is given that x is eigen vector of a and then they are saying that the corresponding eigen value is lambda 1 and x is eigen vector of b also and the corresponding eigen value is lambda 2 then what are the eigen values of this so instead of this let me find out the eigen value of this particular thing which means a plus 1 by 2 b 
and once i find out the eigen value of this then I, I, you know that i can do the inverse and uh, i mean one upon that will be the eigen value of this inverse so let's just multiply by the x you will be getting lambda x lambda 1x basically plus 1 by 2 lambda 2x because x is the common eigen vector basically i mean it is given to us right x is the common eigen vector so ax ax is lambda 1x bx is lambda 2x you take x common you will be getting lambda 1 plus 1 by 2 lambda 2 into x so from here you can easily say that okay this particular thing is eigen value of this thing which means for the inverse you can just do the inverse of this which means 1 upon lambda 1 plus 2 uh, i mean 1 by 2 lambda 2 so you can just do this this will be 2 right so this is the eigen value for the given matrix or the ask matrix so what is the correct answer here i think c is the correct answer right easy question uh, if you know the very basics then you can easily do it so that's why like uh, instead of directly telling you this particular result uh, this particular result we have gone through this uh, two three examples right this example this example this example just to make sure that you understand that how things are getting de derived now let us just ask a question that do we always have eigenvalues and eigenvectors which means for every matrix do we have eigenvalues and eigenvectors suppose just consider a matrix which is actually rotating every every particular vector let's suppose you uh, you just give x y to that matrix and this matrix is giving uh, some perpendicular vector which means like i think minus y x will be the perpendicular vector right yeah then only the dot product will be zero yeah so what could be the matrix you um, so basically you multiply with this you need zero here because uh, the coefficients uh, i mean you don't don't need x here then you need x okay so you you need zero here and then you need okay you need minus y here right so basically whatever this vector is into x plus whatever that this vector is into y so you need minus y so you need minus one here and then you need zero here then only you, you will be getting minus y and then this is one and then this is zero right yeah so this is one this is zero so anyway like uh, let's consider this matrix so if you multiply this matrix with x y then you will be getting minus y x so what is so particular about this minus y x is basically these two vectors are orthogonal orthogonal means you multiply these two vectors you will be getting just zero right so these two go these two vectors are perpendicular to each other now now this is a matrix where you take any vector you multiply that matrix you take any vector x y you multiply that matrix and then finally sorry finally you will be getting a vector which is just perpendicular to earlier vector just perpendicular to earlier vector which is minus y x now in such a case can you have an eigen vector can you have an eigen vector obviously no why because since it is rotating every vector now eigen vector by the property it means that it must be having the same direction right so if we are rotating every vector then how can you have the eigen vectors for this particular matrix but let's just check it let's just let's just calculate the eigen values for this so this will be minus lambda minus 1 1 then minus lambda equal to 0 if you calculate the eigen values it will be lambda square plus 1 equal to 0 which means lambda is plus minus uh, iota right i which means lambda is imaginary which means eigen values and yeah obviously you can calculate the eigen vector so eigen values and eigen vectors both are imaginary there is no real eigenvalue or there is no real eigenvector for this particular matrix so it's not necessary that you always have the eigenvalues it depends on the matrix also right i mean the eigenvalues can obviously can also be imaginary so in this case there is no real eigenvalue or there is no real eigenvector right okay and also one interesting th thing about the imaginary eigenvalues is that they comes with the pair which means that if you have if you have iota then it will be minus iota also so we can uh, we can see this uh, here see there is one statement which is saying that a is n by n matrix with real coefficients if lambda is eigenvalue of a with the associate eigenvector v then lambda uh, conjugate is also the eigenvalue with the associate eigenvector v uh, v conjugate which means they are given that ax equal to lambda x right or or av equal to lambda v okay instead of x they are saying v if that is the case if that is the case where v is, sorry this a is actually having the real coefficients only right but you don't know about the lambda and v you don't know may be real may not be real right you don't know so they are saying that it must mean that if you conjugate this b 
then you will be having lambda conjugate v conjugate basically we need to prove it that if if lambda is eigen value of a with the eigen vector v then lambda conjugate is also the eigen value with the eigen vector v conjugate right so this is to be proved this is to be proved here a is having the real eigen values uh, real real values real coefficients only so what you can do so solution or maybe proof so what you can do you take this you take the conjugate both side okay take conjugate both side now you will be getting a conjugate b conjugate equal to lambda conjugate v conjugate but since a is real that's why a conjugate and a are same so you will be having a here and you don't know about this v may be real may not be real so let's just leave it as it is right similarly let's just leave this uh, lambda as it is so now you can say that lambda conjugate if that is real then it is also lambda just equal to lambda that's not an issue but yeah but in general you can say that if lambda is the eigen value then lambda conjugate is also the eigen value I mean the the imaginary eigen value always comes in the pair, which means if you are saying that here the in the earlier example if you are saying the i is the eigen value or the iota is the eigen value, then minus iota is also the eigen value. So for example, if I just say that two plus i is eigen value, is eigen value, then it must mean that two minus i is also eigen value. this is one small observation that i just wanted to let you know okay yeah so that is all about this video we just wanted to uh, tell you that uh, if you have some equation then you can find out the eigen values very very easily i hope you understood this okay thank you so much